Welcome everyone to the Saturday, April 2nd, 2022 installment of The Lightning Round, your source for daily weather news and content. Since March 30th, Eastern Tennessee and Western North Carolina have been ravaged by multiple wildfires. Overall, the fire spans over 4,000 acres and over 11,000 homes have been evacuated. Although becoming more and more contained, Weather continues to complicate things as firefighters continue to extinguish the flames. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk, or a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale for as far north as Ocala and Daytona Beach, and as far south as Fort Myers and West Palm Beach in Florida. Storms begin to pop up across the area around noon, and then a band of storms start to move ashore around 3 p.m. and push across the Florida Peninsula. The Storm Prediction Center has also issued a slight risk, or a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, on Sunday for the general vicinity of Wichita Falls, Texas and Lawton, Oklahoma. A marginal risk, or a 1 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, outlines that risk, as well as southern portions of the Florida Peninsula. And for Monday, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a large slight risk, or a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, for central and eastern Texas, southern Oklahoma and Arkansas, central and northern Louisiana, and central to southern Mississippi. The potential for an upgrade to a 3 out of 5 is possible with this event. A powerful atmospheric river could create strong wind gusts and flash flooding concerns for the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia from Saturday afternoon through Monday and even into Tuesday. This river comes in waves as the first round of strong wind comes around Saturday evening and then the second one starting from late Sunday night into much of Monday. Areas further inland can also experience this as well as the threat from flash flooding and winter weather. Speaking of winter weather, finally there are some opportunities for snow across portions of the Midwest. The first storm moves on through from Saturday into Sunday, and the second one moves from late Sunday into Monday. A general dusting is expected except for northwestern Illinois, northeastern Iowa, central to southern Wisconsin, and central Michigan where some places could see as high as 5 inches possible. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribing is free and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all the latest weather information.